hello hello and welcome back to my channel is this still the nail art channel i don't even know i'm just kind of into miniature painting at the moment it's still inside out time although i'm kind of getting over it to be honest it looks like the new deadpool wolverine combo movie uh that's coming out is the new rage right now and i think i want to participate We'll see, we'll see. I have a bunch of gel polish bottles still left to paint and I'm not sure if I should start doing Disney stuff or, you know, something a little bit more advanced. Painting something a little bit more simple has definitely helped getting into actual painting again because I've had such a long break uh, due to, you know, health issues and whatnot. Um, so if you are starting out, uh, I definitely recommend starting with um, cartoon characters. Uh, doesn't really matter which network or what kind of cartoons. It's just that cartoons are way easier than realistic people, like realistic faces, just because um, it's they're much more forgiving when it comes to shadows, when, when it comes to highlights. Um, there's less of those, and it's really all about uh, proportions and um, shapes. So take this character, for example, Fear, right? Look at his head. His head is made up of two triangles that are a little bit long, and one triangle faces up, the other triangle faces down, and they connect at the mouth, right? And um, the eyes kind of go outside of that shape. They're on the very, very tip of one of the triangles. So that's how you you can like kind of start to see the different shapes that the characters have and it makes it way more fun to draw but also way easier when i first started getting into nail art and i was starting to share my stuff online some people would ask well if i wanted to do what you do what would i need to like get when it comes to different materials different colors what colors do i actually need and there's a whole discourse about uh, primary colors, which ones are the true primary colors, if it's the first version with blue and red, or if it's the second version with magenta and cyan. Um, I think both of them are valid, uh, you know, discussions. Both of, both of those kind of groups have valid points. Um, when it comes to different mediums that have pigments in them you can't really be 100% certain that the pigments are you know pure pigments of like the pure primary color so that it just it just means like when you start to mix your own shades they might not come out as um as close to what you should expect you know so um i definitely recommend getting a good black a good white uh, a base coat for mixing but also like if you were to do this on your nails you would need like a base um, coat um, a good top coat in matte and in glossy uh, because you would have to top coat everything that you you know you put on your nails or like whatever else um, and I would get a set of primary colors according to the first version with red and yellow and um, blue and also the second version of the primary colors with magenta and cyan uh, just because that way you would have more possibilities when it comes to mixing colors but I mean you can see I'm mixing my own colors as I go I need, I need my own shades I need my own Kind of like semi-transparent colors for highlights and for shadows but i think overall the the kind of like world has changed when it comes to accessibility and availability of different materials and just you know literally everything information um goods you can get everything on the internet and it's just a matter of um personal preference i would think so I don't really have like a 100% recommendation on what to get and what to start out with. But it is, uh, it makes sense to start out with the most basic kind of things, which would be black, white primary colors and transparent um, gel polishes, such as top coat and base coats.
I wanted to say something about glitters as well, how you can just buy glitters by themselves and then mix them in with the mediums that you have, like, you know, meaning different gel polishes that you have. Um, but then I remembered the glitter that is still on the way and <laughs> it's supposed to be uh, delivered very, very soon with all of our household goods. And I am just so worried that all of the boxes that I packed with my materials um, have not survived. <laughs> I remember last time we moved, I had, um, I was into like beading and um, embroidery and stuff like that. So I had a whole bunch of beads, like different sizes, different colors. And the movers packed them up in such a way that they were all mixed up upon arrival. And I was... <laughs> I was devastated. It took a while to kind of sort them out. And in the end, I ended up just not not doing beading and embroidery anymore just because all of my materials were so um, so mixed up. And it just, it, it was a mess. It was such a mess. I hope that doesn't happen this time around, but we'll see. What's strange is that we still didn't get a delivery confirmation Um as an email, you know, something black on white. Um, but I'm just hoping that everything goes smoothly and we'll get our stuff very, very soon, like in a couple of days. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.